does reinventing service experience management look like? And here's the fundamental premise, guys. You no longer can look at service experience and customer experience in two different silos. We believe that these two worlds are coming together. And this is happening right now. And what's forming is this, this layer, this space called service experience management, SXM. This fundamentally believes that the thought or the paradigm behind SXM is that the key to customer success is empowering the service employee, putting the customer and the service employee in the center of that digital experience. And as you can see over there, SXM is a layer, we believe, sits on top of the service lifecycle management platforms, the likes of ServiceNow. KDR and, and, and ServiceNow have an amazing relationship. Um, we have a strategic partnership between uh, both the companies. But regardless, if you look at all of those companies below, those are service lifecycle management platforms. And the role of service life ma lifecycle management platforms is to make sure that the right people are assigned to the right jobs with the right skill, and they, they go to site, they appear on site with the right parts, right? They're amazing in terms of workflows. But the thing that's missing is what happens when the tech actually appears on site to fix the issues. You need to be enabling these people with the right tools so that they can resolve the, uh, the problems and get the problems resolved much quickly, right? So that's the premise of SXM. Now, when you start looking at double-clicking SXM, what does SXM consist of, right? And that's what I want to break into a little bit of how we at Carrier talk about SXM. What is that SXM platform look like? There's a lot of enabling tech that fires up and enables SXM. AR, AI, IoT, content. We'll talk about that here in a second. But fundamentally, what it is is that you need to be looking at this entire spectrum of service experiences. Not just when a problem happens, because that's more of a reactive service experience. So we need to be looking at that whole, the totality of the service experience, and that is reactive, proactive, self-solve. That's the core of SXM. But there are four key pillars of service experience management. It starts with empowering the frontline worker and service desk. That's, that's the first piece of it. What, what do I mean by that? Problem happens in the field, someone reaches into a service desk. Someone calls L1 support. And that's when the L1 agent could leverage augmented reality, have a very simple collaborative session, drop augmented reality annotations stuck on 3D physical objects, as you can see over there. AR, 3D annotation, that becomes a very key piece to this so that, again, problems can be resolved quickly because you have an expert guiding you through what needs to be done. You want to be able to do this in an integrated fashion with service management platforms like ServiceNow. You want to be able to extend this to whatever device type you have. It could be mobile, it could be wearables, uh, it could be drones. So KDR today made a major announcement. We extended our capabilities to drones. And so the idea is that you're now enabling frontline workers, service desk agents with all of these capabilities. So that's the first pillar. That's more reactive. Now let's talk proactive, right? This is where you're talking about connected insights. You're talking about getting that contextual intelligence from various sources. This could be um, when was the product last service? What are the outstanding tickets? Or it could be even um, from IoT sensors, information being fed in so that then you can be a lot more proactive in terms of providing service. Self-solve is where it starts getting into the, the, the holy grail of things is what I would say, right? Content. Content is where we believe, we at Carrier believe the puck is going, right? This is about creating content, curating content, consuming content, as well as cataloging content. Every interaction that happens between an agent, between an expert, as well as a tech, is creating content. It could be screenshots, it could be videos, it could be all kinds of content, 2D content, 3D content. What we need to do is take a look at that content, synthesize it, tag it, and render it at the right time contextually. That is where 
KDR and Xerox is spending a lot of energy to get and solve those problems. Content, 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 content is king, right? The next piece, sort of a natural evolution of all of this, again, points back to skills gap. It's all about training. We want to make sure that before an issue happens, how do you skill up people? How do you skill up talent so that they can now do things like situational training? They can figure out, using a digital twin, for example, how to resolve issues and follow those procedural instructions before they actually go on site. So integrating with existing LMS systems or even providing LMS systems as a part of the SXM platform, that becomes the, the, the sort of missing piece, right? So these are the sort of four components of service experience management.